Hello. Oh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Um, I mean, hello. We are so close to finishing these projects. I'm gonna give you all plenty of time to work today. I just wanna give you a few quick reminders and then clear your mind, put that pencil to the paper and finish your project off with determination and pride using your visual brain. For my realism drawing, I chose to draw Aphex Twin, an electronic music producer. Let's take a few seconds and watch a video on Aphex Twin to give you some background on this insanely creative and innovative electronic musician. I like in the night, sort of, after about one o'clock in the morning, and it's quiet. When you're asleep, like making sounds in your head, trying to work out songs. Sometimes get little ideas for little melodies. I only make music for myself. Um, it's a relation between just me and making music, and there's no other factor that interrupts it at all. So press and what anybody else says is totally irrelevant. I've got to be creating stuff all the time, otherwise I go pretty mad. I never really wanted to be part of any scene. I just wanted to make music that sounded different and wasn't like anything else that I'd heard before. I just like to make music. I don't like to really sort of talk about it much. Electronic music isn't meant to be talked about, really. So there's a little bit about Aphex Twin, and now it's time to draw him. Before I begin drawing, I'll clear my mind and go to that calm, focused place so that I can allow my visual brain to take over. Then to activate my visual brain, I would do a blind contour drawing of every line on the face without looking at my paper and without lifting my pencil. Then I will begin my realistic drawing, starting with the outline first and using my pencil and my eyes to measure out the size and position of the head shape. Once I've completed the outline, I'm ready to start on the interior shapes of the face. First, I'll find a reference point, making sure that I start the mouth in the right position. Then I will draw out the shape of the mouth using my blind contour skills. Repeat that process for the nose and eyes, and soon you will see a realistic face taking shape. Once all of your outlines are completed, you're ready to begin shading. Begin shading from the top left corner and work your way down towards the bottom right, shading everything accurately as you go. To shade accurately, you look at each little part of the face on your printout and ask yourself, how dark is it? How does it fade? And what shape is that shadow in? And then you match the darkness, the fading, and the shape of that shadow with your pencil. You can use your fingers to smudge some patches of shading if they're light and are in a large area, but for detailed shading and dark shading, you'll have to just rely on the tip of your pencil to draw out the shading in those areas. have a finished portrait of Aphex Twin. Now it's your all's turn, so let's get down to it.